Hi gamers, welcome to another booster box opening for Magic the Gathering here. I don't usually like to get uh, full booster boxes when a new set comes out, but uh, just decided to do it here for Theros, the newest set, because there's just a, just a ton of great cards here with great value, so I figured I, I'll, I should be uh, uh, at least even, if not turn out a bit of profit from these cards here so uh, I, I figured like I'm I need like 10 of the 15 mythic rares here uh, mostly for my cube uh, especially all the gods here but also many cards for my other decks as well so really really looking forward to uh, opening some of those here so let's do this So, 36 boosters to go. So it's just gonna be skipping the commons here. And uh, I guess even the uncommons as well. Let's go straight to the rare and we have Chainer the Rocks. Uh, pretty good start here. One of the better rares in this set. No thought sees, of course, but I take it. Dissolve a great um, a new counter spell for standard and a psychic intrusion as the rare and a common foil. Gift of Immortality and a great new boar token. Love this guy. <laughs> Ember Swallower. Ah, great. The emblem for Elspeth. I'm going to be putting the new Elspeth into my cube and I like to have the all the tokens and emblems as well. Anger of the Gods. Again, slightly above average rare here. Should be good in standard. Magma Jet. Great. Hundred-handed one, um, not really a valuable card, but still uh, one of the most flavorful cards ever in Magic. Uh, you get uh, the monstrosity ability, and as long as hundred-handed one is monstrous, it has reach and can block an additional 99 creatures each combat. So I can't top that. And another common foil.
Holocranus World Eater, which is uh, yeah, not not one of the mythics I was looking for because this is in the uh, in the uh, dual deck, so everybody everybody has this. This is not really a mythic at all, so a bit of a blank here, sadly. But we do have a foil, a bident of Thassa, uh, a rare foil, and uh, should be should be no trouble trading this off to somebody. Curse of the Swine, so this is the card that um, makes the boar creatures. How do I do this? Let's make some more room. Prognostic Sphinx. Great. Thessa, God of the Sea. So I got the uh, God for and uh, her, his, her, yeah it's her, <laughs> uh, Biden here as well so that's a going straight into my cube and luckily I'll get some of the rest of the four gods as well. Another, um, how much value did this have? Yeah, <laughs> I seem to be hitting all the wrong mythics. Hithonia, Hithonia, the cruel. So it's definitely not a god. My third mythic. So, so far, uh, uh, not even halfway there. So, having some great ratio with the mythics, but the quality is so and so. Both Nylea. Again, uh, I, I think this is the best of the um, legendary enchantment artifacts. Again, straight to my cube. Arbor Colossus Rage Blood Shaman Shipbreaker Kraken Fildrinker Setter Not that valuable of a card, but a uh, straight up upgrade to a Jackal Pop is okay in my book. Again, straight to the cube. And a foil returned phalanx. Oh, come on. How far are we? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So seventeen, eighteen. So that is the halfway mark. So two to go, and then we are halfway there. Celestial Archon Great! Ashiak Nightmare Weaver I'm pretty sure Ashiak, even though he is uh, uh, like uh, the wild card in the Planeswalker part here. Uh, I, I think he'll go down. He has a pretty nice price tag at the moment. Uh, pretty sure he'll go down, but he might as well go up as well. So if somebody can break him in standard, so. But again, I'll put this to my cube. I have, a, I have every single uh, Planeswalker in my cube, so I like to have them there for great variety in cube drafts. So the fourth mythic already at the halfway mark. Looking good. Abhorrent Overlord. No thought sees it. That is a rare. Another chain to the rocks. I'll take it. Night Howler. I'm always having trouble fitting all this and Putting these evenly while I'm opening them to keep them all in shot. Agent of the Fates, and we have a foil, a Ferris Warden, and another common. Temple of Abandon. Nice, the first Scryland here. This will have their use for sure. Looking forward to the other four as well. So, a pretty decent number of good rares in Theros as well. The five Scrylands and, uh, and the legendary enchantment artifacts and uh, Thoughtseize, of course. So. One of the reasons I wanted to try the fates, I wanted to get the box as well. Biden of Thessa, non foil this time. Mist color Hydra Whip of Erebos and an uncommon foil horizon scholar.
Reverend Hunter. Boone Seder. Closing the bottom of the box slowly. Or well, I don't know if this is slow or fast to you. I hope you you appreciate that I'm going uh, slightly fast uh, with this. Just get to the next pack. You can leave a comment if you'd wish me to get uh, go slower. And a rare Reaper of the Wilds. Titan of Eternal Fire. Oh, wrong pile with the uncommons. Steam Augury. I do, do like this card. I love Factor Fiction, so do like this as well. A Labyrinth Champion and a Foil Spark Jolt. Another common. Okay, we have three boosters to go. I think we are at four mythics, so definitely need at least one more to make me happy. Hopefully a god. Swan Song, excellent. Again, uh, putting this in my cube, but uh, this will definitely, I, I have no idea why uh, some people say that yeah, this will see any play. This will see tons of play in um, Vintage and Legacy, not to mention uh, not to mention in uh, you know uh, in in standard as well because enchantments are are so so uh, important here and uh, yeah two two flyer for the opponent it's it's really nothing one mana counters are always a big thing. Temple of Deceit. It's okay, and uh, an uncommon Chronicle of Heroes foil. Last one. Uh, Dexos of Melitis, so just one god here. Let's check out the best ones we had. So, basically the best pulls here were, hope I'm, I might be missing, missing th something, but like the lands here, definitely the Biden of Thassa, foil, one song, eh, maybe the emblem as well, it might have some value. Polochronos, and a couple of chained to the rocks, always useful. The Anger of Gods is great as well. Where was the... Yeah, maybe the Fire Drinker as well. I'm putting these in my cube here, so and the Hyphonia as well. So, some of the better rares and mythics here. Not the best of the boxes, but 
still no, definitely not a complete blank. Thanks for watching this uh, uh, opening of a Theros booster box. Bye.